Hey guys, tonight I just wanted to share with you my current planner setup. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know I wasn't present for the month of January. Nothing serious, just taking a personal break. My planner has changed drastically since the last time, so I thought I would come and share it with you guys so that you can see the basic setup of it. Now I did set this up in the beginning of January and I did not use it for January. So I will be using it for February. I've just put in all the new February items. Now before I add in all my personal information, I thought it was a perfect time to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna show you the basic setup of the planner. This planner here is a Filofax Aqua Malden. It is a beautiful planner. It is discontinued and hard to find, so I apologize for that. So I will not have a link for this planner, but I purchased mine on eBay. If you're interested in one, that's probably one of the places you can find it, or you can check also in the Facebook planner swap groups. You might be able to find one there as well. I really love this. I got mine about a year and a half ago, and it's probably one of my favorite planners that is in my collection. The leather on this is absolutely gorgeous. It's so soft, it's so beautiful, it smells really nice. As old as it is, it still has a really great smell. And I just absolutely adore it. So I thought it would be perfect to be in it for the winter time. So we're gonna open it up and we'll take a closer look at it inside. Here is the inside of the planner. It's super, super awesome. I love the setup of the Filofax Malden. At first, the side pockets were a little difficult, but I was able to adjust to them really quickly. And now I tend to prefer them over other type of pockets. But here is everything that's inside the planner now. I'm gonna start on this side of the planner and just work through to the end and show you everything that's inside. The top of the planner is really simple. I have a simple to-do divider and I have this gorgeous peach palm. I love this peach palm. It is so beautiful. It's so sparkly. It's one of my favorites. And I also have a heart tassel from Hot Pay Fluff and I will link everything that I mentioned below. I love this tassel and I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day. So that's everything that's on top of the planner. I'm going to start with these pockets here and we'll move forward. The first thing I have is this really, really cute penguin page flags. I love these page flags. They are so cute and adorable. I thought they would be really cute for winter time. I have two Project Life cards here that a friend sent me and as you can see when I move them in the light they have gold foil on them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So I keep them tucked here just so that I can enjoy them every time I open my planner. So they are really really pretty. As far as the four pockets that are here I just have sample stickers that were sent to me from eBay sticker shops. When I place an order they uh, include a sample sticker and a a lot of them are this size so they fit perfectly in the card slots. This pocket here just has some checklists that I use and I'll go over that in just a moment. I'm just going to tuck this here behind the pen just for the purposes of this video so it doesn't get in the way. Next up on this side of the planner, we have this gorgeous material pocket. I love this material pocket. It is from the Kiwi Rose on eBay, and I will link her below. It is so useful and so functional. I just absolutely love it. It has five pockets, one, two, a main large pocket, three, and then four and five, so I get a real lot into this. And I decided to not have a dashboard and to have this instead, and I really like this as an option versus having a dashboard. The first thing I have at the bottom is this clip from Hobby Lobby. It's a large gold clip. I love that clip. I have some basic Target page flags that are tucked in right here. I have these really cute penguin stickers that another friend sent me, and I love them because they are so cute. If you look in the light, they have glitter. They're so adorable. I love them, and I thought they were perfect for the winter time for January and February, so they're just tucked in the back. 
The next thing I have is this clip from Peony's Papery. I love this clip. It's so shiny and sparkly. It's one of my favorites. So I just keep that clipped right here. And then I have snowflake shaped post-its, to-do post-its, and little tiny cute polar bear page flags that a friend sent me that I like to use. So I just keep them tucked right there so I can use them when I need them. What's great about this material folder, pocket folder, is that it comes with a pen loop. So I really like that. You can add another pen into your planner. This one here, um, I'm not 100% sure where I got this pen. I believe it was from Target Dollar Spot. I'm not 100% sure. It could have been given to me as a gift. So I will not have a link below for this Um I just don't have a link for that. I apologize, guys. I will link everything else below. The other pen that I have in here is a uh, Pen Gems. This Pen Gems is gorgeous. I just love this Pen Gems. The sparkles in it are just incredible. Now, the reason why I have two pens is kind of a weird thing I do. I write in my weekly planner with this pen and everywhere else in the planner with this pen. I do have a link for Pen Gems, so I will leave that below, and I also have a discount code guys. So if you want to get 10% off your next order with pen gems, I will leave that for you. We're going to just flip the folder over and then it's got two more pockets. And in here, I just keep random list of collectibles that I'm currently collecting. My Monster High minis, my grocery gang. And then I also have some lists in back here for mini Mixie Qs and for Num Noms. They're just small collectibles that I like to have my list. So once I get one, I can just go on my list and check it off. I love to keep them in this side of the pocket. So that is everything. And again, that's from Kiwi Rose and it comes in different patterns. I love this one, which is like the cow pattern. It's just beautiful. I love that it matches with everything. Okay, the next thing is my fly leaf. And on my fly leaf, I have a couple of few different things. First, I have my gem initial sticker, which is from Hobby Lobby. I have a pocket from Target. I know it's hard to see, but it's attached to the fly leaf. And a friend sent me that, and I'm really appreciative of it because I do not have a Target that's close by me. And when I do get to Target, I have looked forever for these pockets and I've never found them. So I love these pockets. I just currently right now have this cute little unicorn sticker in there. I love the sticker. Her name is Bella and you guys know my cat's name is Bella so I just thought it was cute and I put it in there. I also line the pocket with vellum and you can put something in the back. I don't have anything there now but I will be adding some things in that pocket as well. Now on this side I have a different type of pocket. This pocket here is from uh, Simple Stories. It's a snap pocket and it's made for Project Life cards. It only attaches up at the top, but that's great because you can put your Project Life card in here and when you get bored of it, you can flip it out to another one. But if there's notes that you want to put in your uh, planner and not have seen for immediate eyes, meaning somebody quickly flipping through it. You can hide them underneath here. I really like that. So I like to keep that. Now the dividers that you're going to see are from Cardboard Couture. I'll link her below as well. And the tabs are from Planner Kate. And I love these dividers. The colors on them are just gorgeous and they go really well with the Malden. So I thought they made a great team together. And then next I have another fly leaf if in case I want to put notes here. Now I know this section is marked weekly but I actually have my weekly and monthly together. I have had them separate before in the past and it didn't work for me. So to have two separate tabs do don't, doesn't really make sense for me so I like to keep it like this. Okay, the first thing I have is this clip here. This clip was actually from an older Planner Attic box. I subscribed to them. I really love it. It's pretty and I thought the roses would be perfect for February. This here is my name. <laughs> I just have it crossed out or 
uh, covered up for YouTube purposes. I added some washi around it. Now this part here that is my name was on an envelope from Tweety Pie Collage. I ordered dashboards from her. Her handwriting is so pretty and I can't do this type of handwriting. So I thought it was really cute. I wanted my name in the planner. My first insert is my 2017 pullout calendar. This is from So Much Crafting. I have not filled it out yet, but I will be doing that this evening. And then I just like to keep it clipped here on the top. It's just easier for me and it does it uh, flip open when I don't want it to. And I just thought that looked cute there. My next insert is also from So Much Crafting. This is her freebie insert. And I love this insert because it has the two uh, 2017 holidays on it. And the monthly inserts are not marked for holidays since everybody has different holidays depending on what country you come from. So I really love that she made this and it's really sweet that she provided it as a freebie. So that is on the So Much Craft blog. If you look that up in any of your search engines, it will come up. And also from So Much Crafting is my monthly summary sheet. I love these. These are brand new and they're awesome. We have birthdays and important dates, things to do this month, and this month's goals. So I'll be filling this out again uh, this evening. I decided that before I put any personal information in it, I would show you guys. So it is missing a lot of things. It's very bare bones. Okay, this is my February calendar. I love it. I used a kit from Planning Made Perfect. I will link her below as well. Now, I do have a second calendar in here, and I know that seems kind of strange. It's not filled out yet. I'm just going to scribble in February and write in the days of, you know, the number days. And basically what this is for is when I'm out on the go, I don't like to write in this section here because most of the time when I'm on the go, I'm walking around, I'm sitting somewhere that's very temporary or I'm in a vehicle and I'm moving and I hate to ruin this part of my calendar. So what I do is I keep a second calendar in. So for future planning, I could just scribble it in here and I'm not worried about if it's sloppy or if it's neat. And then later I transfer it to the more permanent calendar. It's just something that I started doing probably uh, December of last year and I really, really like it. Okay, so here's just a, another view of that peach palm. I love it. And here are my weekly inserts. I use So Much Crafting Week on Four Page Vertical. I love this setup because what's great about this is you can use a regular Erin Condren size sticker set or you can use a personal sticker set. I like both, so I think that's awesome that I can choose which one I decide to use. Okay, next we have the to-do tab. The to-do tab is very empty and it doesn't need to be. It needs to be filled with a ton of things that I have to do. So we'll be doing that later as well. Here is the fly leaf that covers this area. And the reason why I keep this here is if I have post-its that I wanna place on this page here, it's nice and easy and convenient. And I see them as soon as I go to my to-do section, which I do every day. I have this very basic to-do list from Kiki K. This is just to scribble notes on. I have my menu for the week, and this is also from So Much Crafting. I love these. You guys that follow me on Instagram know that because I constantly post these uh, very decorated, and I like to decorate them. It's one of the fun things to do is my weekly menu, and I'll be starting to do that again soon. Here is the grocery list on the back. Then this to-do divider was is from uh, Plan With Mister. It was originally made for a traveler's notebook and I just hole punched it so I can put it in here. And I used this side of the list for my get it done. These are gonna be items that are not time sensitive that I just wanna put in and hopefully more like yearly things or just things that I like to accomplish but necessarily don't want to say it has to be by March or it has to be by April. So I'm going to make a general list here. I actually have one already. I just need to transfer it in here. Um, this divider pattern here is probably one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, my next tab is finance. And for the finance section, this first sheet here is from So Much Crafting. It is another freebie. I love this 
this one because it's bill due date and then it lists January through December so you can go in and check off which bills you paid, which months. I really, really love this insert. It's very useful for just a quick, you know, year at a glance of all your bills on one sheet on one page and not a million little pages of bills that you've paid. Really like that a lot. The next thing I have is my debit repayment plan and I do this for my current credit card and my PayPal credit. Those are the only two uh, credit cards that I currently have due. I own other credit cards, they just have zero balances. So I keep an extra one in here in case I'm out and I decide to use one of my cards that has a zero balance, I can quickly write in what I did, what activity I did on that card. Okay, the next one is lists. Here we just have this really empty pocket so I can put receipts in there, whatever little papers that I think are really important. This is my wish list. I actually have this written down as well and I just need to transfer it in here because there are a billion things that I want and I'm sure that many of you can relate to that. I will probably fill both sides and go on to a third sheet. Okay, next we have this. Now this is old. If you've seen my older planner setups when I was in a ringed planner, you would have seen this. It's just basic uh, layout ideas and they're really old. I haven't went through this list in a while. I need to clean it up. Okay, next here, I usually keep my codes and I don't have them up to date right now, so they are a work in progress, but I keep this little cute clip up here. I believe it's a cow, a friend sent it to me and it's really super cute. So I keep it up there, I like it because it's very flat and it's very little and um, my codes are gonna go here and it just reminds me that something belongs on this page. This is also old. This is my hot pink fluff uh, heart palms, which are these. I like to keep track of the colors that I currently um, own, so this way when I purchase some, I don't duplicate the color. And I do the same thing with my peach palms. I own so many of them that I don't want to duplicate the color that I already have when I place an order. Now this may look familiar to a lot of you. This is from an older planner setup as well. I actually duplicated this from last year. I had an outdoor project list just like this that I filled out and it worked out really well. So I made an exact duplicate of it using the same stickers and washi tape. And I'm going to make a list on it for our springtime projects for me and my husband so that he knows which items we need to tackle. This is just a Hallmark Channel movies that I really enjoyed watching. Also Hallmark Channel is The Good Witch. And this is just my episode of season one and season two, which obviously I haven't watched. So I need to fill this in as soon as I watch them. These grid sheets here are from So Much Crafting as well. They're probably my favorite type of paper to use for notes. Then I have my um, timeshare for my vacation. And then we're on to miscellaneous. In miscellaneous, I just have this sheet where I like to keep the logo stickers from companies that I like to order from. I've always done it. I just think it looks really, really cool. Here is where I usually keep um, codes for my uh, PR teams. I don't have all my codes current right now. I'm working on this as well, so it's a work in progress. When I get them, they will go in this location. And also another thing that I keep here is my pen pal addresses and my pen pal tracker, but that has really personal information on it of addresses of other people, so I don't keep it in here when I film at all so that I don't accidentally show something. And then my last tab is health. Uh, this is a brand new section and I'm really happy that I put this section in because I started a new health regimen program uh, the last three or four days. And this is a exercise sh sheet that I use and I really love this. This is probably one of my favorite things in my planner. These stickers here, I'm going to link below. They're from eBay. This is a squat challenge. And what I like about this is before I would purchase the stickers and I would stick them on each of the individual days in my weekly section. And then if I hit day 12 or let's say day 14 and I failed and didn't do it, I like to start the challenge over. I was wasting a lot of money on rebuying the packs. Now what I did is I put them on a sheet and I laminated it. And this way I can use a dry erase marker and I can start checking off 
off each of the days as I go. And if I fail the challenge, I could just clean it off and start over. Or if I finish the challenge, I can use it for another time. So I can do another 30 day cycle. So I really, really love that. Next, we have this sheet here from a So Much Crafting as well. This was another freebie. Um, I'm starting my Weight Watchers classes again this coming uh, Friday, so I want to be able to keep track of my weight. I blocked off January since I wasn't attending in January. So here, I'm just going to write the date of my meeting and my weight. I go about four or five times a month. So this section will be filled in for February, March, April, May, and June, and so forth on the back. And I just used this really cute fruit washi tape because I thought it was very uh, relevant to what I'm doing in the planner, which is trying to lose weight and I need to eat more fruits and vegetables. Okay, and then last but not least is my stickers. Just some random ones that I keep in here. I have planning made perfect. I also have personal ones that I make myself. Um, I do not sell them, but I do make them because it's fun. I love to make stickers. It's always just a fun experiment to see what comes out. And then in this back pocket here, I keep these uh, little B uh, post-it notes. I really like these. These are really cute because they're small and colorful, easy to use. It's the only thing I keep in my back pocket. And that's it. I kind of keep this pocket empty because I don't like it to be too bulky in the back. But that is everything that's in my planner. So it's very bare bones. It needs a lot of attention, which is fine because it will receive that over the next couple of days. One thing that I need to do is personalize my planner. I need to add pictures of my husband in there. I need to add pictures of my three cats. So that's something that's going to be added in the future. But I figured I would share it with you guys while it was kind of bare bones so that you guys could see the structure and the basic setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. Thanks. Bye.